This next video is going to answer four questions that I pose to my students related to the marginal propensity to consume and the multiplier effect. The first question, I gave them MPC. said MPC is equal to 0 0.75. This is the marginal propensity to consume, which is just the uh, percentage of your additional income that you put towards consumption. I asked them to simply just find what the marginal propensity to save is. Now note, remember that MPC plus MPS has to equal one. So therefore the answer here is 0 0.25. So my MPS in this case would be 0 0.25. The second question I asked was I gave MPC equal to 0 0.8. So I gave it to 0 0.8. And I asked for the multiplier. What is the multiplier? Now in our class, what we're doing, this is really uh, the spending multiplier. So spending multiplier. So whenever we just say multiplier, we're usually saying spending multiplier. If we want the money multiplier, the tax multiplier, we'll add something. But just the multiplier we're looking for here is usually the government spending multiplier or just any autonomous spending multiplier to, to be fair with this aggregate expenditure model. And so you know that the multiplier is going to be equal to 1 over 1 minus MPC. In this case, it's 1 over 1 minus 0.8, which is equal to 1 over 0.2, which is equal to 5. So the answer for this question was 5. The multiplier here was 5. The next one, the third question I gave them was MPC is equal to 0 0.6. Uh, and then it says that government spending increases by $1,000. And the question then becomes GDP will increase by how much? Okay, well, the first step we need to do is we need to find the multiplier, right? So the multiplier is going to equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.6, which is going to be equal to 1 over 0.4, which is going to equal to 2.5. What that means is any change in autonomous spending, which includes our government expenditures, will make this increase by uh, 2.5 times. Holding all else constant, right? We're not talking about crowding out or anything else yet. This is just holding all else constant. What is this going to do? So therefore, uh, GDP will increase by 1,000 times 2.5 or our answer of 25 Hundred. So that's our answer here on this question. Just make this a little bit smaller so we have some, some room for the fourth question. The fourth question says a twenty five thousand or sorry twenty five hundred increase in autonomous investment. So I bar leads to a twenty five thousand dollar increase in GDP. What is the MPC? Well, what's something we do know here, right? We can see that if 2,500 led to 25,000, we know that the multiplier is going to be equal to 10, right? It was a 10 times multiplier. So I know that 10 must equal 1 over 1 minus MPC. This right here, when we do the math out, we can see the only way for that to be true is if the denominator, 1 minus MPC, is equal to 0 0.10, right? That's the only way 1 divided by that would end up getting us uh, to this number of 10. So therefore, MPC must equal 0 0.90. So those are the answers to the four questions that I posed online. Uh, if you're not in my class right now and just watching this on YouTube, I will post all that stuff in the comments so you can look at them. Uh, so have a good day.